Today we're in Stratford, Wisconsin at Stratford Homes and we are standing in what some may refer to as the coolest home on the planet. So let me get you outside and I will tell you all about it. All right, so I walk through a ton of homes on a regular basis and none really tickle my fancy as much as this one does. So this is the Timber Lodge by Stratford Homes and it is beautiful. It's a chalet style log home and it does have two stories with the finished loft, which is something pretty schnazzy. Uh, we don't usually come across these type of homes all finished up, but this one is decked out to the nines. I mean, when I talk about some nice upgrades, this one has it. So here on the front, you do have, of course, all of these beautiful windows with this great big wraparound front porch. And then you have this nice porch with a cute little chair over here on the corner. Just gives that nice rustic feel. As far as the specs for this home, it is a three bedroom, two and a half bath. It's approximately 2,520 square feet. And yes, I know we're going around the home in a different direction. Coming around to the side over here, you do have several windows coming out of both the master bathroom and a bedroom. And this is the one, I don't know if you watched uh, the last one or if it's even up yet, but this one has a beautiful clawfoot tub in it, as well as like, wait until you see some of the sinks in this home. They're like this hammered copper. I don't really know what you would actually call it, but the exterior of the home is done up with this beautiful hand hewn, log siding which just gives it a really nice look to it you do have a side door right here which would come out towards your garage and then just look at the size of those windows see that one window right here with the dormer that looks into the great room there's one on either side and it is massive and then coming up onto the porch again this thing kind of wraps around you do have several doors here that go into the great room which i think is splendid and then just a huge window array up above that. I love the columns over here. Just super rustic looking. And then you do have some nice can lights over here. Put your little porch swing or maybe the sliding rocker is just good enough for you as well. Maybe even get some other rocking chairs out here. Beautiful. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get inside. All right, so I'm going to tell you the price at the end of the video, but I would like to hear some guesses as we walk through this home because it might actually surprise you. Now, when you do first walk in, this is the foyer and it leads back towards the master bedroom as well as out here into this beautiful great room. And I just absolutely adore everything in this home. You do have this cute looking rustic light picture. I mean, it's a little bright, but anyway, you do have knotty pine going throughout the entirety of the inside of the home. With the exception of the kitchen, there are a few spots in there and you'll get to it. So to the right of the foyer, you open up into this absolutely extraordinary great room. I just like, like looking at all the decorations it's beautiful, but you do have nice dormer here on this side and then turn you around and you do have another dormer over on that side that lets in a heap of light. And then of course you have these great big beams going all the way across the great room. Now, if you wanted this just completely open to above, you could do that too and you wouldn't have to have the beams. Uh, There's just, it's an option. Anyway, beautiful sliding glass doors leading out onto that a big front porch and then coming into the actual living room area again plenty of space in here i mean the whole place could be your living room if you wanted it to be um, but this is nice because it sits just in front of this beautiful fireplace right here you got the stone surround going all the way up and then check out this mantle beautiful so this is custom made for this home as well as there's another little bear I'll show you in a second. You do have the gas logs right here and then the nice stone hearth. Love it. And then next to that, you do have a cute wet bar. You have your wine refrigerator down there and then check out this sink. That thing is fancy. And then you have a little glass rack up above that. Beautiful pools with like the deer hooves. 
Well, I guess that's just, <laughs> I was trying to open a drawer. But anyway, all soft clothes, beautiful countertops in here. And then from there, you can come into this kitchen, which again, huge wraparound peninsula, beautiful light fixtures. You got the pine cones on there, looking snazzy. So there are uh, six seats here, and that looks about comfortable. And then the countertop just kind of wraps around and then into the kitchen itself again with this beautiful sink. Love it. Next to that, you do have a dishwasher and then you have a funky looking oven as well as your range hood here. That's a range hood. <laughs> I meant to stop at range, but my mouth just kept moving anyway. And then more cool pulls in here with plenty of cabinetry and drawers. Again, everything soft clothes in here. Very nice. You do have, I don't know, that's like a built-in speaker system. Pretty neat. This is, I mean, keep in mind, this is a modular home. Right? Very nice. The quality of this, this home is ridiculous. I like the nice little movable, oh, it's just not on wheels, but you get the picture. It's still like a movable island. And then behind that, you do have your refrigerator. Oh my goodness, I'm in heaven with the refrigerator. It's like a braised bronze refrigerator with a great big freezer at the bottom. And then you do have this nice corner pantry in here. I love this home, but I like how it transitioned into uh, almost like a stucco here in the kitchen and dining room. And you'll see some more of it back here as well. But right off of the kitchen, you do come back to like a mudroom area. This is the door that would lead out towards your garage. And you do have a bifold door right here for a coat closet. And then next to that, you do have nice big built-ins with a cute little bench area in between. And then here is where you'll also find uh, your half bath with a pocket door right here. You got your toilet on this side. Again, really cool like stucco look in here. And then you have a pedestal vanity with a cute mirror. I like this home. Anyway. From here, you come all the way back to the back where you do have your dining room. Again, it has a combination of several different things happening in here, but very rustic feeling. Love the light fixture. Great big table in here. Pretty neat too. I like it. Windows letting in a whole bunch of light. Pretty. All right, so from here, we're gonna go ahead and go upstairs and then we're gonna to have to come back downstairs to show you the most magnificent bedroom slash bathroom you've ever seen. Now, this door right here would lead down into your basement. However, there's not currently a basement, so it's just a door uh, and it's closed. This is also a beautiful feature of this home. It is an upgrade, it's optional, uh, but I like it. It's a cute little carved bear. And then you work your way up the stairs and again the loft area up here is finished as well as the two bedrooms which is completely different than what we normally see in these type of homes so the stairwell right here kind of wraps around and then you're greeted with this beautiful loft you do have views down into the great room and again if you wanted all these beams out of here so you had like a clear line of sight you could I like it. I think it gives it a little bit more of that log cabin feel. And then from the loft area, you do have a full bathroom. This is going to be your first full bathroom in the house. You have a single vanity right here. Again, braised bronze fixtures, little canoe pools in here. That's pretty neat. I like that. Then you have your toilet and then back behind us, it's almost like a encased shower, like the whole 
That's pretty neat, huh? I think so. And then you got even more like paddles going off on the pools in here. I like it. It's the little things, you know, it's those type of things that make a home, you know, personal and unique and interesting. And then towards the back of the loft, you have two bedrooms, one to the left, one to the right, coming into the one on the left. Nice little bunk bed in here. Both of these sit towards the back of the home. Got the bifold doors in here. And then across the way, we have our second bedroom. I think they're about the same size, but maybe this one feels a little bit bigger. You'll know because I've already put the specs up as far as the size, but anyway, really pretty bed in here. They did a great job as far as decorating, not just this one, but all of their homes. Very nice to see. All right, so from here, we're gonna go back downstairs and we're gonna come back through the foyer area. Now, have you have you thought about it? What do you think this home is gonna, gonna cost? Uh, I'm excited to see. So you do have a nice like, I guess this could be a coat closet since it's right off of the foyer. So you do have that available to you. And then beyond that, you come into your laundry room. Plenty of counter space in here. More cabinets, little trout pools. And then you do have a little place to put like laundry baskets and stuff up underneath of the counter. Nice corner sink over here looking out of this window. And then back behind us, you will find the washer and dryer hookups. Some nice cabinets up above that. Oh, I didn't even see this door. And then you have a whole bunch of space in here. All that storage. All right. So then you have these double doors right here, kind of rustic French doors, if you will. I'm not going to shut the other one, but you get the idea. There's two of them. Push them open to reveal your beautiful master bedroom with the tray ceiling in here. Again, nice kind of a stucco wall and it's like a mossy green color, which is very pretty. You have the windows looking out onto the porch right here. And then towards the back, you do have another closet in here also. Plenty of shelving. I like the trunk, trunk's cute. All right, wait until you see this bathtub. <laughs> Are you ready? Do, do. From here is the ensuite. And my goodness. So you have these nice bowl sinks, beautiful light fixtures. Just a lot of counter space in here. More soft closed drawers. Amazing clawfoot tub here in the corner. Now, of course, this is just a decoration, but it gives you an idea. You know, if you wanted to put something like this in yours, you totally could. It would be pretty neat if it came with it though, right? And then you have like this built-in linen cabinet back here towards the back with plenty of cabinets and drawers all over the place. And then towards the very back, you do have your water closet, which is separated by a pocket door, has a toilet and a window back there. And then you do have this great big walk-in shower, which is pretty neat. Got a little towel rack in here. Looks like some super massage jets over there. Some more over here. Big old shower head. How cool would it be if this like ran water out of it and just like sprayed it down over the top of you like a car wash? Anyway, let me know what you think about this helmet down in the comments. If you want any more information on this model or Stratford Helms, I'll leave that information for you in the description, as well as over at timothyplivingston.com, where you can search this floor plan, as well as all the floor plans that we've toured across the country. 
see if they're built in your area. Now, as far as the price goes, if you guessed approximately 600 to $650,000, well, you are a winner. That is the price of this home as shown approximately. Just keep in mind that different fixtures and finishes can adjust that price, and it may or may not be that price uh, that you pay if you decide to make this home yours. Anyway, thank you so much for hanging out. My name is Timothy, and I will see your beautiful face in the next one.